<clears throat> so let's say you're trying to build a new map application. You probably go to the store. <clears throat> Download your map box. Install. 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 <laughs> someday. Someday. Yeah. Got your components. Drag the map. That's nice. I like it. But let's say you're trying to you're trying to put a city here that is not on this list. We try to look for Miami, and it's not here. What the hell? How dare you, map box? How dare you? So you go to custom. You put your Latitude and you put your longitude, longitude. Nice, I love it. And there you go, Miami. That's amazing. But every time you drag the map box component again, it defaults to Amsterdam. And you have to do this whole thing again. So what we're gonna learn today is how to how to modify the code component, how to modify the interactive components that you get from the start. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna go to the components tab. You're gonna right click and you're gonna copy code. You're gonna delete this guy. And then you're gonna go to components, create new code component from the store. I'm just gonna call this map with Miami. Map dip map map Miami default. Great. We're creating a new component. gonna delete everything and because you still have your uh, your code on the clipboard you're gonna paste everything don't worry this is a super long code but if you inspect it a little bit you'll see that at the beginning there's a list of of cities with longitude and latitude already there so it's just listed there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna because we already know the coordinates of Miami uh, we're gonna add it to this list. We not only gonna do that, but we're also gonna pass um, and make it available on this list. So if you if you drag and drop here, you'll see that not only is the is the list here, but we we're gonna put it on this list. So whoever uses this component later will have access to uh, Miami on this list, and then. Uh, not only that, but we're gonna make the default city Miami. All right, let's do this. So now we have two components. One is called Mapbox, and one is called Map Miami Default. They're exactly the same, but because we haven't saved this, now now we can delete this one, and we're gonna drag and drop. Now, as you can see, it says Mapbox, and the reason that it says Mapbox is because the copy paste uh, that comes here it names the class mapbox i don't want to change it too much too much because i feel like if i change it there might be other instances here and then i don't want to break the code but what i do when i do is after lm and los angeles los angeles somebody misspelled something here after this we're gonna just copy this Paste it here, change this. You say screaming at me because you're not allowed to have two. Miami. And then the latitude is. I'm pretty sure this is the latitude, but it might be back, backwards. Yeah, and then the latitude is this.
Okay, let's see. Now, the only thing that this does is just make sure that this is in the code and then you can call it. It doesn't, so like if I save it right now uh, and I drag and drop, uh, like this is our component. Nothing changed. And Miami is still not on the list. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's amazing. But if you drag and drop again, Miami is still not the default. It's on the list. Actually, Miami. Uh, Miami. Florida. <laughs> Florida, it's its own country, people. <laughs> I love it. So, you can drag your hand. Now, Miami, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's try to figure out how to do the default city. Custom, custom, not styles, not for default token. Um, default props, here we go. So, the component has this default props, uh, city, I'm sure that. And we're gonna go here. City. Let's see if we just write down Miami. Again with my coordinates here. Oh, hey, now the default is Miami. Boom. That's all you have to do, guys. That's all you have to do. You see? Not that hard. Um, but I don't particularly like that the light one. But let's say, let's look at one that we like and then let's make that default one. Ooh, North Star. Ooh, kill him. Scenic. Ooh. Oh, this is the. Um, I think that's the waves one. Wham. What is wham? Ooh, wham. <laughs> that's like a comic book. Vintage. Ooh, me liking vintage. Miami old school 80s and 60s. I don't know. Alright, let's do that. Vintage. So. Map style, map light light. I'm thinking it's map box vintage. Let's see if it works. I'm just guessing at this point. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's see. So, all, like, something nice about VS Code is that it's really helpful. So, if you put the next character you need to put, in this case, period, is gonna give you like, uh, okay, so all I have to do is choose vintage and it fills it up for me. I save it and then every time I bring the component from now on, it's gonna be Miami vintage default. Kaplawee. Wait. All right, thank you for watching my tutorial, how to put Miami on the map. Yeah, with Framerx. Hey, thank you for watching. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that there's still gonna be a vlogging channel, so I'm gonna put these tutorials on a playlist. But for the most time, for the, uh, for the, whatever. Yeah, so when you hear the notification, it's going to be a vlog, but I'm going to release these tutorials on designer channels and react channels and community channels. Anyways, I just want to let you know to have good expectations what this channel is and what this channel is not. Okay, thank you for watching.